What is going on, y'all? It's Eat with Patrick Blackwood. This is what we have here today. We got some strawberries. We got some ramen. It's very late. I just got home not too long ago from my event. Uh, my team won, which is really good. Now we're about to get the show on the road. Let's go. Amen. You guys check the bio. There's so many description on the box. In the description box, you're gonna see all the, the storyline, you'll see all the links and everything. Go ahead and check that out. Also, if you haven't subscribed to my channel, go ahead and subscribe to as well. I don't know about y'all, but I hopefully you got some food while y'all watching me eat as well, because I am hungry. You heard me? Man, so it's been a long day, long day. I've been out since morning. This is actually a first solid meal for today. First solid meal. Can you believe it? Don't get me wrong, I had me a little protein bar, two smoothies, a little small bottle of smoothies that I got from the gas station. So keep me through it the whole day. Ah oh, man, what can I say? Some ramen, it's so good for the stomach. Keep you so warm. I'll tell you, man, like the weather here is super crazy. Don't get me wrong, it was in the high 50s today, but it felt like it's 38. The wind picked up. Also, a little, it rained a little bit. You just never know. You just never know in Czech Republic. Well, it wasn't in Czech Republic. It was in Slovakia. Slovakia, if I'm saying it right. There you go. So I was in Slovakia. And uh, beautiful city, by the way. It was raining a bit. And it was in the 50s. And yeah, that weather was not playing with us, okay? Well, it ain't playing for me. Cause you, I got to wear my long sleeve and everything. Well, let's get down to business. Let's get down to business. You know, I'm here reading all my comments, scrolling down, even looking at a couple months since I haven't been back. Now I'm back weekly. Um, let's talk about it. You guys been asking me for a very long time what happened between me and Nina. What happened to between me and Nina on rating? It's a very touchy stop topic. And I'm gonna be real with you guys. Like I'm gonna be straightforward, honest. I don't really talk about my private life. Um I just feel like talking about my private life is seem like I'll let you guys in, but I want I'd rather just be vulnerable and tell tell you what I've done and <clears throat> be real. You know what I mean? I fucked up. Completely straightforward. I messed up. I didn't want to say the, the cuss word, but I did. But I, I'd rather be 100 with you guys. I'm going to own myself in accountability. I'm not going to go ahead and downgrade anybody, talk about anybody behind their back, nor uh, do one of the weirdest things what men do all the time. They talk about the female with another female. I think that's really a, like some punk stuff to do. I don't, I'm not going to do that. I'm not going to downgrade nobody or anything like that. I'm going to hold myself accountability. I wasn't mature enough to handle a certain situation or what she brings to the, in a relationship.
You understand? Um, <clears throat> a lack of maturity. And I want to I wanna own up to that accountability because we, we, we were born differently. There are certain things I didn't learn in my parenting hood, in my young life, or how to treat a woman right. Um, yes, I was raised by my mother, and she was both of my mother and father figure, and she taught me all the things she can. But there are certain things in dynamic of becoming a man I did not know as a man. You know what I mean? Because my father wasn't in my life. Now, that's not no excuse. I'm not putting an excuse to that or anything like that. It is just part of life. It's part of a learning curve. Learning, knowing, learning and knowing about yourself. Uh, that was part of my messed ups. You get what I mean? And she's been patient with me. Uh, we still talk to this day, don't get me wrong. Uh, she's been patient with me and we still talk to this day. We we still friends, we're still cool. But I'm looking through the comments and one of the comments say, oh, you should go ahead and she, she try you, this and that. And you should go ahead and do that. I'm not like that, yo. Like I'm not, I ain't one of those suckers that go ahead and like, oh, this is what she did to me. When I, I'm not that catty dude, like I, I don't roll like that. I ain't never been a punk. My mom never raised me to be a punk. Like I don't even go back to my family and say, oh, this is what's going on or this is what's going on. Not gonna do that. You're not gonna get that from me now and you're not gonna get that from me then. You get what I mean? So all I can do and what I learned right now by being by myself is knowing myself better and maturing to my like knowing myself and really just evolving and being a better person regardless if me and her do get back together or my future partner who knows i can't be mad or beating myself up mentally because i messed that up you know what i mean so at the end of the day i did apologize to her but I'm not going to continue to apologize to her because I've done that. It's a, it's a life learning lesson for me as a man. And so what? I'm going to be real. I don't have the most money in the world. I'm in here trying to make it just like everybody else. I'm just being real. Like, I don't have six figures in the bank account. I'm just being real, yo. Like, I'm not going I'm not going to sell y'all flawed story like yeah this nigga made it this and that blah 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 I'm here living my own dream now it took me 12 years to get where I'm at right now you know what I mean so if it wasn't for her to have my back from the jump I wouldn't be here I'm grateful I wouldn't say like oh man bump her like I'm not going to do that and you're not gonna see me do that. Like, I'm not gonna do that, bro. Like, I'm not that type of person. I'm not gonna talk about her business and this and that. This, that's reality, bro. I'm not saying that I'm, I have a million bucks in the bank account and I don't, I don't. I'm just an average guy just like you that's trying to make it. And I am making it because at the end of the day, look where I'm at now. Y'all can sit here and trash me now. I don't care. I know who I am at the end of the day. Do you know who you are? Can you sit here and say like, damn, I don't really have six figures in the bank account or I don't have five figures in the bank account. Oh, I, I know that I, I lied to this person and I hold myself accountable. I'm just being real with myself at the end of the day. I done that. I done things that that was not supposed to be done to her. And at the end of the day, I'm living by it and I'm learning from it. You get know what I mean? Because people that 
do things in the past, still deal with the same trauma. I don't want to be like that. At the end of the day, I'm living my life. I'm happy. I'm grateful. I have a roof over my head. I'm eating. I'm talking to you guys. And I could move on and move forward from it. Now, it's up to you guys if you want to, I'm going to say the word, fuck with me with a long way or not. I'm giving you the choice. Like, that's on you. At the end of the day, I'm going to be me and I'm happy to be me. You get what I mean? So, at the end of the day, until next time, y'all, I'll see you in my next one. Love.